We're going to let the sheep into a new field just now. So they're ready. They're waiting to go. Good morning. It's Saturday the 24th or maybe even the 25th of August. I lose count of the days now. Which means it's the bank holiday weekend. Which means we've reached the end of the summer holidays. One week to go. Um, and the weather has finally turned a really positive corner so the campsite's happy we're happy and we're cracking on with the last bit of the haymaking and it's six o'clock in the morning at the moment you can see it's very misty everywhere and usually that's a sign that it's going to be a hot one so bring it on It's bank holiday Sunday, Dad's turning the hay, we're all busy looking after the campsite, sun is out, it's actually hot and we're having a busy but good weekend. The hay was cut on Wednesday afternoon and it's been turned twice a day, every day since. It's bank holiday Monday and it's hay making day, which means we're actually baling today. So we'll be getting out the very ancient old small baler. We'll be turning the hay one last time, rowing up, baling, and then we've got two carts and the whole family and whoever else we can rope in will be putting the hay on and bringing it up to the hay barn. So it's gonna be a jam packed day. Right, I've just got the baler out. It's a classic vintage machine. I've had it since 1981. It was second hand when we had it. And in the early years, we were all hay, doing about 6,000 bales a year. And then we went on to silage about 1983 or four. So it hasn't done a lot since, but it, it is quite reliable. It's not a fast machine, but it does make quite a decent bale. So I'm hoping she'll perform today. So it's rather a weird start. There's two batteries on the track, so I went to start it up and was clicking on the starter, so one's obviously on the way out, so we just had to jump lead it up and away she went. But uh, hopefully the weather's going to be good and we should be all systems go. David Brown tractor with a cart on. We've got another tether over there, and then we've got the baler coming in. I've just brought the baler down to the field, and see there's a great pile of hay under the hedge, but there's been a bit of a mini whirlwind or what? Which does happen sometimes, and you see it in the hay fields. So it's gone from over there yeah. and it ended up over there in that corner. There's roughly 85 bales on the first trailer and roughly 80 on this one. 
it was about 300, about 300. So literally double what we had last year off the same amount of ground. So that's pretty good. Now time for a tea break. It is, it's not well, man. Are you running in that tyre? It's bit minus six. <laughs> but what about this one here? It's got a bloody hell of it. We just need a bit of light weight on it. Is I mean, it split? It's taking off it. Trouble you only stay got. Is that for naught? Yeah. One small oh, step for man. That's a chapel tree. One giant leap for mankind. <laughs> Not much older, but plenty of buzz. <laughs> what? Off for the second level. Back in that car, weren't it? It sounds like Nora. You know all of the. Haymaking stories. Do you want to go through onto the barn in a second, Nora? <laughs> hey? As you can see, this big empty space is now stacked with all the small bales. Where do you want, what do you want me to do? Well, do you want to stack it all up there, or if you, don't, if you don't want to use any of this more floor space? Or... That's heavy one. Just look, I don't stop with those. Uh... Well, that's just the last uh, bale thrown up and very pleased. Even though it's late, it's not going to be sort of sheep quality hay, but it's certainly good, as good as you can get for this time of year. And now for a shower. A shower and a, a slight refreshing drink, I think. Done. What is the plan of action? Well, the plan of action is to get all the ewes and lambs in, into the top yard in the, in the sorting shed. The, the lambs ready for the store sale are already tagged, so I've put them in a pen and we want to let the others out onto some fresh pasture. <laughs> What's happening today? I think, oh, we're getting these sheep in. I think there's a, there's a 45 going down to uh, sheep sale at April. Yeah. It's Friday the 30th of August and it's the day of the first sheep sale so we will be getting them down. No. 
Right, yes. No. Yes. Yeah, I think there's one or two, I put one or two in here, yeah. the dark time. Well, that doesn't really matter. No, the key thing is, is there any out there that you don't want to go? Just have a thought and I've entered 45, I think, right? So there's 49 in here. So maybe just uh, Richard, who takes them down to the market for me, his big trailer, he'll uh, just see what maybe doesn't match up and we may pull one or two out just to make the 45. They look very well, I'm very pleased with them. I just hope the uh, price reflects that, or we may have to have a bit of a rethink and bring them back and send them fat. But uh, last year, we'd, you know, we, we hadn't got that option because we had we'd no grass, but this year we had got the grass, so that's not uh, an issue. So, effectively, today's the day where we find out whether all of our hard work during April and onwards was worth it. Are we going to get the price in the sales that we think the lambs deserve? Because last year, we didn't. Come on, bring them out, Joe. Well, we took the first lot of lambs to the sale this morning and I suppose price of a only average, I had a cut-off point of been £60 to bring them back and my friend who takes them down for me because he had a you know, big trailer, he thought they ought to make 63 or 4 uh, and they just made 60 uh, so I was rather, I suppose you might say disappointed but the trade seemed very uh, cautious I guess it's the uncertainty of Brexit and not, and not knowing what's happening. Well, it's just never ending. This time last year we got the dry conditions to put it with, and now it's something else. But uh, I guess that's farming. We carry on. Mm. Beautiful morning. Chasing Felix. It's Saturday the 31st of August, which basically marks a very big sigh of relief for me because it means that the camping season is starting to wind down. Um, so I'm tired and I'm ready for a rest. But um, I'm going to round off the video there. So if you've enjoyed it, please like and comment or subscribe to my channel as I really appreciate your support and I love reading your comments so I'm very thankful for those and we will see you next time. Bye!